Hello, welcome to the aspect on darks and well, not so much darks, but then a very good enough level of darks to get started and some bit of extra data modeling. So this was where we stopped in the last video. I'm going to just do close and apply because we are done with what we want to do in the Power Query side, the transform data side. So once you do close and apply, it is going to load all of the data as you have indicated the transformation to happen in that power query side okay so that is done and um, uh, in power query no in power bi desktop this is the environment you get right so at the upper right side you begin to see this file which is kind of easy to understand what all of these doors you know open savers import export publish i'm going to mention later on and uh, there is home menu this is where you get to see some of the common tools you will have to use and uh, there is insert menu which is useful for inserting that the as the word insert means you know insert new visual insert new page pages are like tabs so more like sheets that you have in excel so that's what pages are referred to here as then you can insert text box you can insert buttons you can insert shapes you can insert an image. Uh, you can also connect to power hubs. There's Q and A. These are also like visuals, anyway. So there's modeling. This is where, if you want to do things like formulas, manage relationships, some bit of data modeling, you know, these are where you find all most of the tools related to that. Then view menu is all about what you want to enable. You want to enable grid lines. You know, you want to enable selection pane. You want to so these are things you want to make display in the view of your Power BI desktop. Help? Well, self-explanatory, you need help. All right, so what you notice is, I'll leave it back at home menu. The, there are three aspects here, right? So there is, there is reports, which uh, this is where we're going to build all the visuals, you know, what we want to see. Okay, I want something here. I want a chart here. You know, I want I want a bar chart. You know, all of those things that you want. Uh, this is where you're going to create them. And to create them, we're going to use these things called visuals. So we're going to do all of that. But this is one thing that you will uh, notice straight up as having things in yours. So all the different data we brought in. Uh, this is where you will see them and you can expand them you can expand you know table and you see all the all the different fields the columns in it and this has the habit of always arranging them in ascending order like alphabetical order right so it's not really dependent on on the time you brought them you know it's not a first first brought in first displayed kind of order so in case you bring in a table and you're like oh where's the table i brought in just remember these are ranges in a, in alphabetical order and then you easily locate what you've brought in. Okay, so this we are going to work on this side later on. Uh, so this is the report section. Now we go to the data section. So the data section is where you are able to see what, what you brought in looks like. So we're going to stay a bit here. This is where we're going to do some bit of some DAX before we go ahead with the report creation. But then again, I also want to just mention is the model side and uh, power bi has this habit of trying to create for you some uh, relationships sometimes it gets them right sometimes it doesn't get them right so we're going to come back to this usually i like to delete what's been created if especially when they are not correct uh, but then again we we come back to tackle that so i'm going to leave this as it is right now and then i go back here so let's go through all our different tables and see which one needs some some bit of massaging right so branch data this looks okay exchange rates no issues with this the sales data so this sales data i am seeing some things i need to work on here immediately uh there's the unit price uh there's quantity mm -hmm. But I need the sales amount. I need the sales. I have the discount, 
uh, this discount should show in percentage. So I'm going to change this. So I click on this and immediately I click on this, I see this column tools, right? So I'm going to pick that. I want to change the formatting to percentage because these are like 3%, 5% discount. So it's better it's displayed that, that way. And I hope it's correct. Why is everything showing zero, zero percent? Huh? So I'm just going to scroll down and, and take a look. Okay. And sometimes you can just click on this drop down here and see. So yeah, I think I'm, I'm okay with what I'm seeing there. I was a bit concerned when I was just seeing only zero. All right, so that's one. Then um, I also want to, you know, we have the exchange rate, right? So we're going to also in the in later on create like a USD equivalent, like sales in, in USD. But first, let's start with sales. So to do that, I'm going to go to, to tables, right? So the table tools, I'm going to say I want to create new column. Because I want to create a new column that is going to have the sales calculation. So I click on new column. And the formula we are entering here is called DAX, data analysis expression. So to this video, I'm going to attach uh, a more like a reference file on DAX so that you can easily be able to fall back on all the on that resource for explanation on the different DAX formulas. It's a bit dated, you know. There are some new DAX formulas that are, have, have been created since Microsoft created that uh, resource file I'm attaching. But the bulk of them, the ones we are going to use, uh, you will find, I think, about all of them in it. And you find a lot more. So I'm going to call this sales and do equal to. So that's the pattern to this. The name on the right, on the left, the, the actual computation on the right side of the equal to sign. So I'm going to say this is going to be equal to unit price. Now notice what I'm doing. I'm typing. The moment I'm typing the names, it comes up and I do tab to pick. If you click, it will not work. So this doesn't work with click yet, except if they've changed that experience. Let's just test it. If I do times quantity, see it goes up, it goes up in like it, 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 it goes basic, right? So uh, that experience has not yet been modified. Maybe in future, they will check that and make it easy for us to pick. So I'm going to have to rewrite the formula sales equals to unit price. I pick that times times the quantity quantity sales quantity and because there might be discount attached so i'm going to say multiplied by one minus the sales discount okay i put that in bracket and i say enter and then instantly that does the computation of the of the sales for me and uh, if you want this to show in naira so you know if you are particular about the currency i can come in here and say i need this to show in in naira and whatever currency it is in your own data and your local currency you can also pick so i'm okay with that uh one other thing i need uh, if you notice we we the target we created in the target file we created and even in the exchange rate file we created a year month likewise in the sales target days this year month i need that information in my sales data too so i'm going to create another another field which is going to be year another column i'm going to call it year month if you're familiar with excel you'll find out that a lot of the formulas you know in excel kind of operate the same the same way same syntax same logic uh in power bi so year month will be I want to extract the year of the dates, you know, date as I have in the sales data dates. Okay. Now this I want to join to a space. So if you you if you use the upper sand already in Excel, this the same thing I'm doing here. But now because I want the month in three letter, so what you will have done in Excel say text and pick the date and say you know comma into you double quote three hems so the equivalent of text is formatting here and then i pick the date again I pick the date and i say to express it in that format for me three hems okay and that is it so with that i now have the year month extracted so just waiting for that to display so good uh, we're making good progress i also want to 
I want to create a particular field.